Good evening, family. How are you? This evening, I am doing wonderful. Doing fine. I'm out here in nature where I thrive my best. I tell you guys that all the time. Just having a, a chilled evening, trying to relax. Had a very, very busy day today. And um, I needed to come out here and just relax my mind a little bit <laughs> kind of chill and um enjoy this beautiful beautiful breezy evening but i'm doing fine um had a really beautiful day busy but beautiful so i have no complaints but i wanted to take a few moment, moments and come on and touch bases with you guys um it's been a couple of days and I wanted to, first of all, mention, um, want to make sure you guys know, and I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of the video, but Rashad actually did a very powerful uh, message via video to the people uh, on yesterday, I think it was yesterday. And he um, he actually just opened up and he said he said more than I thought you know he would talk about but he really really brought it on home he gave us some specifics about what he's experiencing what he's going through and um, I'm not gonna even say too much about it I'm just gonna go ahead and and play part of the video and then I'm gonna send you to his Instagram account it's called Divine Insight, where you can watch the full video um, of his message. And it was so powerful, but I'm going to just play it so you can hear it. I'm not going to elaborate on it or talk about it too much. Just I just want you to just hear a big section of it. And then you can go on his Instagram account, Divine Insight, and hear the duration of it. So let me pull it up. We've been going to war for that brother. Um, because that's what we should be doing. Let me see if I can get it going. Okay, here we go, guys. I thought I had it. Hold on. Okay, where are you? Okay, here we go. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet God. Peace, meaning positive energy. I always create civilization. I also want to send peace to all the high vibrational human beings, the Caucasians, the Asians, Mexicans, civilians, and Arabs. Um, as you know, this university is open to everybody. This university only stands for peace. I'm coming to you to bring awareness to my situation. I'm not asking for any violence just for us to move in peace, which is positive energy once again and always big elevation. Grand Rising Cosmic Family, I am aware that millions of souls who have not heard from me since April, so I'm writing this email to provide all of my students and supporters worldwide with an update personally from the horse's mouth. I have been detained since May 3rd. I am currently being held in Barrow County Jail, located in Wyanda, Georgia, about an hour and a half north of the city of Atlanta, Georgia, which is where I reside along with my wife and kids. Rashad Jamal has always been very transparent with his audience, and I made the public aware of the charges placed against me last September of 2021 in a live lecture I did called Dirty Cops, in which I exposed the lies and fabrications placed upon my character. The live video has since been deleted and mysteriously removed. I would have spoke up sooner, but I'm only allowed out myself for 30 minutes a day, and I don't want anything to happen to me as well as my family. I don't want them to cut out our visit, so I haven't spoke out about what's going on and the way I've been, been mistreated um, from the bond hearing down to my incarceration. None of us is free from falling in frequency while living in these avatars called bodies down here within this physical realm. The lie Zeus slash Satan wants you to believe is that no one is perfect and that we are all born in sin. But this statement is to deceive you and to accept in the wicked ways of his kingdom and could be no farther from the truth. We descend down into this material realm in complete perfection. But the moment upon our inception or birth, 
we are injected with nanobiotechnology and placed under light code lockdown of this major through the miseducation of social programming, the promotion of sex, violence, and drugs in movies and music, the poison of our, of our minds through news outlets, and the destruction of our temples' bodies through modern-day medicines, and the list goes on. With that being said, I have made many mistakes in this lifetime since my reincarnation as I seek to ascend back to the state of perfection from which I came. I am a god, and all of my people, the black and Latino people, are gods, and we were made in the image of our creator. Therefore, I am an extension of her slash them, and I am the creator and destroyer of my reality. So I take full responsibility for all events I have experienced during this lifetime, for this is what we call shadow work in the spiritual realm. But I have never and will never harm an innocent child or disrespect the source of all creation, which is the Anunnaki goddesses, a.k.a. the black slash Latino woman. This is nothing more than a scandal, a propaganda campaign, debauchery, modern-day cointel pro being used to tarnish my name in an attempt to destroy my image and legacy to turn not just my people but all people against me so that they no longer accept my message. But we all know there is no worse of title than to be labeled a rapist or a pedophile. Speaking of message, what is my message? What does divine insight really stand for? My message is clear. I was sent back to this planet to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet and to help rid this planet of its parasitical invaders. I am one of the original 23 scientists, the 119th soul ever created, spiritual assassin, warrior for righteousness, protector of modern Isfet, guardian of the gods. I came back to unite the gods with the humans and then unite the two with nature. For we are to love the animals and nature just as we love ourselves. Divine unity is the only way. The oppressors seek to label me a pedophile because I had the courage to speak out against them and expose their lies, plots, and plans within their satanic kingdom as opposed to labeling me what I really am, which is a black activist, scientist, philosopher, historian, philanthropist, author, revolutionary poet, and a public speaker working hard to raise the vibration of the collective consciousness. Moreover, I'm not some radical or rambunctious pedophile, but I am a free thinker and a free freedom fighter who speaks out against all forms of oppression, including white supremacy, police brutality, gun violence, black-on-black crime, the race war which puts the blacks versus the whites, sexism, sexism and, the and the degradation of, the, of women slash the goddess, discrimination of the LGBT community, body shaming, and the discrimination of, against fat people, kids who get bullied, and I'm also an advocate for the Blue Crystal Baby slash the youth of today who get judged and are misunderstood, as well as the elders of yesteryear who deserve the utmost respect for paving the way for everything taking place today. I speak out for all people, regardless of race, religion, sexual preference, or social status. In a world that thrives off negative energy and division, I stand for positive energy and unity. What is taking place with my situation is truly a travesty. I am being castigated for a crime I did not commit. I have had correctional officers tell me that if I use my social media platform to bring attention to what's going on, that they will take away my phone calls and visitation rights, which is only the way I'm able to check on my wife and kids who need me dearly. I thought we had a First Amendment right. By saying that I can't bring attention to what's going on, you're actually proving the fact, which I always stated in all my lectures, that as descendants or, 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 or the children of former slaves, that we do not have any rights in this country. I'm not asking for anybody to attack the jail or to attack the judge or the DA. I'm not asking for anybody to do any of that. I am simply bringing attention to what's going on with a black activist who does righteous things in the community. I was told that I would end up like Sandra Bland if I go public, which is the, which is the black activist who was found hung in her cell in Texas. This is also what took me so long to write this letter. I have paid almost 100 k in legal fees trying to prove my innocence. I even had two lawyers turn on me. One lawyer, Gerald Griggs, who I trusted because he is the president of the Georgia NAACP, sold me into slavery because he did not present any of our evidence at my bond hearing, including over 100 people showing up on my behalf and over 100, over 1,000 character witness letters, as well as hundreds of YouTube clips showing my character, of which he did not call but only two witnesses, my mom and wife to the stand, which he did not prep, nor did he play any YouTube clips or read a single recommendation letter. I had recommendation letters coming from politicians. None of these were read. I trusted him because I thought he was a black activist like myself, but I see I was wrong. The other lawyer
lawyer, Ted Johnson, was paid $30,000 cash and was paid in full October 1st, 2021, but did not make an entry on my case until May 19th, 2022. He did no work at all. He withdrew from my case July 15th, 2022, with no refund. At least Gerald Griggs' office did set up court dates and bond hearings on my behalf. The only thing I didn't like about Mr. Griggs is that he didn't fight hard for me at the bond hearing, which made me like a straight radical to the judge. But Mr. Johnson, however, did nothing. So basically, he sold $30,000 cash away from me and my family. Nevertheless, I wish them both the best in life. I am not able to go to the law library and work on my case because Federal County does not have one. And I would like to work on my case. People sent me legal books in, but the jail would not even allow me to get them. This is the first jail I've been in where I can't have legal books. Moreover, the state is trying to rush my case to trial, and I'm still scrambling to put my legal team together. On top of that, the mother of my child who lied and put this false case on me is now saying that Zaza White, a child I took care of for two years, is now not my son. Meanwhile, I'm being slammed across social media, other so-called leaders in the community, except for a few, other than Rod Hayes and Spiritual Soul, Isis Wisdom, Black Magic 363. I appreciate all the, all of them guys and goddesses. Other than that, most of the leaders don't have anything to say about it because they want to see my demise. And the evil, vindictive woman who put this case on me is being rewarded with interviews. But how about y'all, if y'all gonna interview, how about y'all ask her, why did she allow her oldest daughter to be called a sex trafficker in 2018? And why has she been put under investigation with these acts twice? The alleged victim in this case, she was put under these acts investigation for beating her in 2018. How, how about y'all ask for that? How about y'all ask for how she 40 plus years old still living on Section 8? How about y'all ask her, how is it that just five months after putting this state case on me, how are you out here catching cases with your oldest daughter? You're supposed to be teaching her right from wrong. She caught two felony cases November 2021. And they were for theft. So she's out here stealing. Stealing. But, you know, let him who has eyes see clearly. Nevertheless, I'm not asking for any harm to come her way or to anybody's way. I wish all of them the best because the ancestors will always have the last lives and everything. Hmm. Okay. That's as far as I could get it to play. If you guys want to hear it all in its in its entirety you can go on instagram and pull up divine insight that is his instagram page and you can actually watch i say watch listen to the video uh yourselves it is a very powerful video and we still didn't get to parts of the very powerful um comments that he made and um so i would really advise you guys to go on divine insight on Instagram, uh, Rashad's uh, page, and uh, watch the rest of the video. Listen to the rest of the video. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Yeah, it, it was it was very very moving. I've I think I've listened to it about three or four times, four maybe four or five times. Very moving, and I am still encouraging everyone to, uh, if you have an altar, go to your altar in his name you know meditate in his name um anything that you can do um i did post that i i did a um i actually did a video a couple of days ago um and recited some information that his family put out the other day um and so i recited that and it also gives you some instructions if you guys want to help him uh, so and I, I can see that the information is really spreading pretty pretty quick. And that's what we want to happen so that we can um, support our brother and um, help him in his very time of need. Again, I want to remind you that we are one people together and we're different parts of us. And so um, Rashad is a big, he's a huge part of us. So we have to... Um, we have to support him. We we should, and I'm asking you to please do so. Um, so that's the first thing I want to get out. And then I was going to mention, I did hear something. I've seen uh, about three messages, videos, actually, from um, YouTubers and messengers that are talking about uh, that they're, they're um, cutting out the, the EBT in different states 
and for sure I've heard Ohio and New York that um, people are not able to get their uh, I call it food stamps <laughs> but I think the, the uh, correct new term newer term is uh, EBT if I'm calling it correct so people uh, that's gonna definitely interfere with people getting getting their food and so I can tell you right now it's I can almost assure you for this for this time during this time it's a test they're just trying to test and see uh, people's reaction you know how is, how, how is everybody going to respond to this uh, removing the, the uh, food stamps from society and uh, those were the only two states that I've been able to clarify that they supposedly have uh, removed it but I'm sure I'm hearing that there's more states um, of course so but don't be alarmed don't 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 do not walk in fear um, I don't care like I said what it looks like guys we are still um, gonna stand fast and hold our heads up and continue to do what we do and walk in in peace and uh, and just know that everything is gonna be all right um, I was trying to think there may have been one more another thing oh and I want to remind that the chosen to continue to to do what you do guys um, I am seeing so much information on the chosen ones there's just very a lot of very powerful um, videos out there um, on YouTube and um, people are really waking up to understand that there is a a group of very powerful beings on this planet that have been sent back here for battle for spiritual battle and um, you know I used to hear people make comments like you know well that's very arrogant to, to, to even choose a term of chosen one but I'm telling you it is real the 144,000 is real and they have been uh, reincarnated back here to help raise the, the, the consciousness of this planet and to help heal the people. And so there's nothing arrogant about, you know, being a chosen one or being set aside, um, star seed, whatever you want to call, uh, call us, but there's nothing arrogant about it. It's just real. And, 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 and the, we're here to, to do what we were created and sent back here to do so I want to encourage you guys because it's 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 a, a very um, it's a very powerful time very divine time but it is a lot of work that's been assigned to the chosen to do it's not an easy task but if we if we couldn't do it we wouldn't have been assigned to do it so hold your heads up and continue to be strong and let's let's get this planet back to where it you know to where it's supposed to be so I just wanted to come on and um, give you those few tidbits and the main thing is just making sure as many of the people who follow me um, get the message from uh, Rashad Jamal and I'm gonna say again go to his Instagram channel on divine insight and you can hear hear the full um, video in its entirety, and it's very powerful. Um, it cut off before I could um, get the last part of it, but please, please go there, guys, and check it out. And let's continue to fight for this, brother. We are a family, and that's what family do for family. So I'm going to sign out now. Um, I'm going to say please like the video and share it video because when you do both more people can see it subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you can continue to get the content i thank you very much for that <laughs> so i'm gonna sign out i'm gonna say assalamu alaikum namaste to you guys ashe ashe and ashe be blessed guys peace unto you until next time i love you very much and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.